Welcome to FMI Connect TV brought to you by Fresh Shop, delivering the simple, powerful, and customized online shopping experience your customers deserve. The second day of FMI Connect featured discussions around grocery shopping trends with the debut of research from FMI, the U.S. Grocery Shopping Trends Report, which was presented by President and CEO Leslie Saracen. Online will also get a boost from the Gen Zers as they start to shop. And the aging baby boomers will much prefer the ease of getting online over the aggravation of standing in line. I'm Shahar Downing with you again to recap the second day of FMI Connect, where Discovering Trends was the business of the day and was kicked off by Leslie Saracen's candid conversation about culinary trends with two celebrity chefs. And it's going to continue to evolve because people are fascinated not only by the intellectual component of it, but by the importance of the decisions they make when they put stuff in their bodies. And they're thinking about it differently than the fuel generation that I was growing up in. We're so blessed that we have this opportunity. We are the rock stars, if you like, and, and what Mario does and, and what I do and a lot of other chefs is give back to the community because that's, that's what we believe in. In addition to grocery shopping trends research, FMI released its second annual Power of Produce report that looks at shoppers' purchasing habits as well as how the food retail industry performs in meeting shopper expectations. We see a lot of trends happening around organic products as well as ethnic products and produce, and we've made a huge investment at Ahol to really up, up our uh, game in produce. Fresh and fresh prepared foods took center stage at FMI Connect through the debut of Supermarket Chefs, a two-day educational program within FMI Connect tailored to leaders of fresh prepared departments and designed to help attendees bridge the divide between culinary arts and business brass tacks needed to turn fresh prepared departments into consistent profit generators. I wanted to learn, you know, how do you take on those challenges of bringing chefs into the supermarket um, marketplace. Um, we've had a good two days of discussion. Um, people from all over the country having um, feedback that they brought to the table to let us know how, how can we take on this challenge together as um, a retail industry. Over at the FMI Connect International Pavilion, new tastes and culinary flavors were on full display with more than 100 exhibitors covering a quarter of our expo. Pavilions from China, Greece, Italy, Mexico, Quebec, and Thailand offered many different international products that consumers are expecting retailers to offer. The international pavilions are the place to experience the global culinary trends you can bring to your shoppers' baskets. In the fresh and private brand zone, the Treehouse food truck served up the latest snack trends. With 53% of dinners now being planned within an hour of eating, culinary demos featured ways grocery stores can help shoppers plan their next meal with fresh prepared offerings. Back at the FMI Connect Buzz Center, sponsored by the Coca-Cola Company, we talked to industry experts about the trends they are seeing in the grocery industry. We really got some great solutions for retailers on executing some of these fresh prepared programs. One of the major trends that we're seeing in the industry is needing to inspire, create, get more ideas so that they can have shoppers come into their stores. By far, I would say online, online shopping for groceries. Uh, there is a large uh, population of busy workers who will go online and order those groceries and pick them up on the way home or before work. Uh, and so I think that's probably one of the bigger innovations I see right now impacting the industry. We're not uh, naive to the fact that e-commerce continues to grow. And uh, you know we, we need to be able to make sure that we are making large stores and supermarkets a compelling place to be able to come to uh, for a shopper. Day two at FMI Connect was an opportunity for attendees to walk the expo floor and interact with hundreds of FMI Connect exhibitors who address the latest trends in the food marketing industry. I think the uh, food safety is a big deal and that's why we're very excited with the plastic pallet. We're able to reduce your amount of damage because our pallet is a true 48 by 40, so it does fit all the product within the platform with no edges to damage any product. We today find ourselves offering a, an invaluable service right into the nexus of the next stage of innovation with food safety, uh, weight savings, total cost of business reduction throughout the supply chain. 
My name is Francesco Bauli. Uh, we are from Bauli, USA. Uh, Bauli is a, a family-owned company from Italy. Uh, we are excited to uh, launch our new products here at FMI Show, like the mini panettons and the savory panettons. We are creating a mini panetton that has uh, a, savory, a savory taste. And uh, on top of that, uh, uh, most of our items are uh, clean label, so it's all natural product. We have introduced the first in the market this year, a gluten-free panetton. And uh, all our items are also kosher, so all these trends are part of the trends uh, in, uh, in the bakery category. This year, definitely the technology shift. It's not so much about lighting anymore. We've been coming to FMI, we've supported this industry from the very beginning, from 1984 to today. But today what we're seeing is, is we offer lighting solutions. And the solutions part of our, our, of our business is, uh, is data collection. It's a lighting control, it's color tuning, um, it's human-centric lighting, it's lighting effect on the human uh, body. Um, so it's, it's trending into more of a technology than a light source. Yeah, obviously Unilever, we make a lot of iconic foods and refreshments brands, including Breyer's Ice Cream, Popsicle, Lipton Tea, Hellman's Mayonnaise, and Knorr. Um, and we're here kind of showcasing those products and showing how retailers can leverage them in um, exciting and breakthrough new programs that really connect with consumer trends. We've got a program called Agents of Change um, that is actually um, harnessing the trends of nutrition, chefmanship, which is a fancy word for home cooking confidence, and sustainability. So we've found working with our um, kind of network of registered dietitians that we've been partnering with, that those are the trends that shoppers are really looking for these days. And so we're aligning our messaging and kind of creating programs with our products that kind of bring those to the forefront and give shoppers exactly what they need. So we do a uh, soup to nuts solution for shelf tags. So every retailer has to do their little shelf tags. So we're all about speed, uh, speed to get the promotion and the shelf tag uh, to the shelf. All got to happen uh, sometimes within seven hours. So the data comes into our facility, we process it, we print it, we deliver it uh, to, to the stores uh, you know, every week. You know what? No soup for you! That wraps up another day at FMI Connect. From innovations in technology to providing fresh and healthy options for consumers, attendees gain valuable knowledge they can put into action when they return to their stores. Visit fmiconnect.net to watch more FMI Connect TV on YouTube and check out hashtag FMI Connect on social media for the latest from the expo floor.